guys about the Battle of Grozny. Very few people know about the Battle of Komsomolska, and it was one of the biggest battles of the war. And there's a reason for that. The Russian uh, military kept the press far away uh, from the battle, as far away as they could, except for a few select Russian correspondents who um, they trusted to report the battle their way. In 1999, when the Russians laid siege to Grozny, Chechen rebels eventually found themselves surrounded. After months of holding on, they managed to break out into the mountains. After escaping the siege of Grozny, many rebels sought shelter in the nearby town of Komsomolskaya. It proved to be a deadly blunder. What was supposed to be a refuge turned out to be a trap. Once the Chechens arrived, the Russians quickly surrounded them. There were about a thousand people with us in the mountains. We had wounded. The wounded were taken to various villages, but they were waiting for us. There were ambushes everywhere. In four places there were ambushes. Russian troops pounded the town for two weeks. There was nowhere to hide. Russian troops never came too close to the village. The village was surrounded by tanks, armored vehicles. At Komsomoskaya, I lost my two brothers and a nephew. Most of the terrified citizens left before the battle. They returned to find their town forever changed. These people, the Chechen fighters, there were over 300 of them here. And as a result, what did I get from this? I lost all of my animals off of which I live. That's what I can say. I cannot stand anymore. I need to go sit. The battle at Komsomolskaya was a huge setback for the rebels. Hundreds were killed and unclaimed bodies were buried two and three to a grave. But the Russians didn't achieve everything they wanted either. The Russians succeeded and causing great damage to the rebels. It was a big rebel defeat, but they never managed to get Goliath, the leader of the whole group that they were determined to get. And we now know that one night, Goliath headed toward the nearby river on the assumption that it wasn't mined, uh, got to the riverbank, and then moved through the frigid river amidst uh, the darkness and the gunfire and eluded the Russian trap. Not everybody was that successful. 